Right, short video. I am skirting the meadow with the big tree. I never got up to the path. That would have been, that other broader path would have taken me to that. You remember there was a broader path much further back? That would have been the one to take me to the gate. This one is taking me through the jungle area, which will take me to the loop gate, hopefully. But I am having to negotiate all sorts of ferns and brambles and some some um, blackberry stuff this one, not this one, some these but what it is, there's that meadow but you can see there's a barbed wire fence then you went through a place over there uh, through a bit more of the meadow then you had to cut back down to a gate and I think this is where I'm leading indirectly this is a quicker way right the main path goes along there and then you go up to the hill fort we skirted the hill fort we've done all that and we've done this track so we won't have to do it again unless we feel like doing it in the winter which we might do I expect some people get over here and get in that field but I know because we explored a bit last time I know there's a gate that uh, links the loop and uh, this should in theory take me there I think it will Okay, it didn't come out at the other place. But I think this will. Something just tells me it will. I'm going in the right direction to that gate. I know exactly where it is. So I'm in the jungle. This is Sheila in Dolbury Warren. And believe me, it is a Warren. And I'll probably come out in all sorts of bites and scratches when I get home later. I have brought antihistamine cream and, and savlon cream. I must admit, I didn't expect to be doing a path like this. And I, I hadn't thought that it would be um, so overgrown. So basically, we're going to come out in a minute. Because the meadow is there. So, with the meadow, they've actually sort of almost mowed it so people have a big wide path to walk on you know but isn't it nice doing this really off track you don't know where you're going because that, that signposted over there in the meadow they don't signpost this this is for the adventurous this is for the adventurous and I'm glad of it, really. If you were up in the meadow, you'd be right in the sun. At least here, you are sheltered. Now, I've got a feeling I can see a path there. I think we're very close to coming out. Yeah, there's a ridge. Look. I think we're very close to coming out. I can see a path. So folks, we've actually saved time doing this route, believe it or not. And I'm glad I've done it. And in the winter, it'll be really easy to see. But there's the track. That will lead down. See? We're nearly there. Look. See, there's the path. There's the gate just shows you how good I am at knowing where I'm going in a way do you know what I mean I knew this path would lead me here I didn't deviate off it I was here a week ago I didn't bring my map now that will take you down to the start of the loop I reckon we'll be able to see from the map now yeah I was here two weeks ago by the way this is where I am I'm halfway along this loop. There's the lookout. That takes you across to the meadows. Shh. 
I've just walked sort of, um, if I'm here, I've sort of walked sort of in and out of here, I think. Yeah, I, I've, I've ploughed through here, like this, look. That's what I've done. There's that info, and I would have gone even further, like right over here, for example. Um, so this is where I am now. So this is the, what I call the loop. i done all this. So basically, that takes you downhill. If, you, if I wanted to go back just to see where it started, and I don't think I will. I'm going to carry on to this place. Don't think I will. I'm just going to take a picture of the map again. Over right. and out a minute. I'm not going to go down to where the fork is. Because it's only going to be trees which I've already experienced by being on that path going through the jungle. <sighs> so I'm carrying on. I haven't really cut anything out. I've just been on a higher path. <sighs> so... Right, we'll do a little bit of video in then. So we've been that, we know where that goes. That takes you right out onto the parade leading up to the fort and the meadow if you want to go that way. I even know where this turns out. This will turn out at the base of the Dolbury, Warren, where there's junction points and where I can get into Rowborough, which is plan A. Um, uh, now I might do that, but I had thought climbing up the fort and going down the secret steps. Right? Having my picnic over that way. So I might do that. I'm just going to see how I feel. It's more likely I will, because it isn't very far. It's only over there. I bet you anything I've been bitten though. Going through all that stuff I'll be crawling up my arms and all sorts. It's part of being an explorer though. If you, haven't, if you haven't been bitten by a tick, then you haven't really explored properly, have you? <laughs> no, no, I'm only joking. This is, this is so good what I'm doing. When I decide to walk up the hill for a different route that I did from two weeks ago, I will go to... <coughs> I will make my way down to Robo Warren <coughs> via the secret steps and then I will make my way through Robar Warren the stream down to Shipham then I've got to try and remember the route from the pub at Shipham because I can't go in a field that I normally go in because it has herds of cows in it otherwise I could go down the West Mendip Way but I've got a good four hours, folks, and we're on route, really. We're actually on target because there's a bit more of the meadow. See? I mean, if I got out of by that gate, I would have had to walk up there, then back down. I've actually done really well. To be quite honest, I've been dead on target. It's just I had to follow a more robust route, more jungly. But the plants were kind to me and nobody stung me. They didn't prick me or sting me or anything. I've got a, I've got a rip in my trousers, but apparently that's cool, apparently, if you have rips. I've got my hat round here, but I'll put it up. I'll put it on in a minute. There's a lot of shade here. You can get hot with the hat on. So I'm only going to put it on to keep the blazing sun off me, which is up above me, of course. But I'm really enjoying this. It's the Glastonbury Festival this weekend. And I think they're going to be okay for weather. I think they're going to be okay. People will be arriving now. Setting up their tents there. Um, you know, parking up. Maybe going into Glastonbury. That's why I haven't done Glastonbury this week as well. Because it would be packed. Um, I plan to go there. <sighs> Sometime this summer. Might be next week. Might not be. I've got <clears throat> I'm planning to camp. Um I'm planning to do a bit of camping. Um 
for just two or three nights under the stars. I just hope July is going to be as good as June. So I can't go, because I haven't got a car or anything. I'd get drenched, it'd be awful. And it's a long way from home. Yeah, I'm going to do it. This is lovely, you know. I'm out in this beautiful sunshine. And anything that's disturbed me, which there are things, but I'm not talking about them. Um, and unpleasant people that haven't been very nice to me and I can't talk about it really but basically when I come out here this is my healer that's why I said my walking is my healer it, it puts me right in my mind and it's good for my body I've had some good and bad news it's like you know they're saying now I'm getting older my bones are getting more brittle I'm not grossly brittle or anything so I do eat well I'm back on vitamin D <clears throat> which I've wanted for a long time so I'm having a dose of that for a month I've got to have a blood test next week but my calcium usually is really good I do eat eggs, cheese, fish, yoghurt I eat f um, food rich in vitamin D and I walk out in it I only expose a little bit of me because you don't want to get burn your skin I've put suntan protection on, not suntan, sun protector I've got on me, factor 30 or something, and uh, I've got my hat ready to go on when I'm doing the most exposed area, which will be, could be quite soon. I'm now, I recognise these dark woods, because there's a gate over there that you go through to get into the meadow, right? The other side of here. This, I've often wondered over the last 12, 13 years. I've never been here before, but I've been at the junction point and I've often said, I wonder where that goes. Of course, it will take you down to the loop and you can get back that way. You can follow that and get back to um, Doll Barrow, if you wanted to go to a pub or you wanted to go and get the bus that way. So this is, what I, this is where I am now folks. I'm in this beautiful, nice wide track now. But I went through like a jungle track, which I think will be very, very clear in the winter. It's not well used. Most people will just carry on round the loop. They won't follow the path I've just done but it was a very direct path. It was what I thought I would do. I did think I would join up with a loop further down at the junction though, but it doesn't matter that I haven't. You know, it doesn't matter. But I didn't bring the map. That's the only thing. I didn't bring the map. Now I've got a feeling that this path will go like that. And I'll tell you why. Because it's got to join up with the loop over there. Now the junction point I'm talking about joins up with going up the hill for it, right? So this is supposed to lead you to what's called the lookout, which will be over this side. And some more big paths. So, I'm not quite sure yet. Tell the truth, aren't you? No. I'm not quite sure if there's going to be a turning to take me back on the loop. Because as it is at the moment, I'm going down towards Robera Warren. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. be that this is the loop and I won't be taken to that place over there. I'd probably have to find my own way there. Look at these lovely trees. So this is the track I'm on at the moment everyone. 
I'm going to drink another half a bottle of water in a second. And I might have my banana. I might have a stop in the shade up here. So it's, it's time for like a small break now. Which means I've got to take my rucksack off. Yeah, I reckon. I, I, I've now decided I don't think I'm on that path yet. That'll be further up, I reckon. So we're going to stop here in the shaded area. Haha, <sighs> is this a path? Look! Look! There we go, look! That'll take you down to the lookout, I reckon. That'll take you down to the lookout, bet you anything. Right, what I'm going to do is turn off for a minute. 